Hi everyone. The car that is going to upgrade the central control screen today is Volvo 60. First, we unscrew the screws on the back of the center console. Then remove the original car air outlet panel. Please note that there are many buckles on the back of this air outlet, which may be difficult to remove. Next, we loosen the two long screws that fix the center console frame. Then unscrew the four short screws on top. Then lift up this large panel and unplug the green plug on the back to completely disassemble it. Now we will unscrew the two screws that fix the original car main unit and disassemble the main unit. Unplug all the plugs on the back of it. Now we remove the original car screen frame. There are many buckles on this frame. It is difficult to remove and requires a little patience. Then unscrew the four screws that fix the original car screen. Disassemble the original car screen and unplug all these plugs. We disassembled the original car air outlet and installed it on our new car radio. Now start connecting the wires. This is the GPS antenna. This is an RC audio cable. This is the video input cable. This is a USB transmission cable. There are two of them. Now thread the black plug of the power harness from the host location to the screen location. Put on this pair of red and white plugs too. Connect the canvas box to the power harness. Connect the red and white plugs to the RCAFL and RCAFL of the RCA audio cable. Then connect the canvas serial port. Then connect the black screen power plug. Now connect the power harness to the original car power plug. And then reconnect the small plug on the original car main unit. Then connect the male and female adapter of the power harness to the original car host. After the connection is completed, the original car host can be reinstalled and fixed. Now plug the small plug of the original car screen back in. Then we transfer the original car screen plug. OK. Then plug the central control panel plug back in and start the ignition to test it. This car is quite special. To debug audio, you must connect to the original car screen. We click the radio button on the center control panel to enter the original car system. Then press the media button to select the audio output setting and select UX. After the setup is completed, the Android system will have sound when playing music. Note, after the setup is completed, the original car screen still needs to be retained. You can hide it on the back of the new car radio, and the original car CD host will not be used. Otherwise, there will be no sound. Now we will remove the center console again. Otherwise, there will not be enough space to install a new car radio. Then after installation, put the center control panel back. OK, retighten all the screws fixing the center control panel. Now plug the air outlet plug back in, restore it, and the installation is complete. Because this car comes with a canvas box, we need to set the protocol before using it.
It has many useful functions and supports local videos or online videos from other apps. Support local maps or other app online maps. Can automatically search for local radio stations. Support Bluetooth music and Bluetooth phone calls. Support wireless CarPlay, Android Auto. You can use the voice assistant here, make calls, listen to songs, use online maps, and other application functions on your mobile phone. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.